Uh, all sessions begin with a meditative uh, reverential pause uh, known as a puja. And um, we, we want to remember that um, there's etiquette in this art. Of course, there would be etiquette. It's thousands of years old. How far can we take this style of body work as another form of yoga? It's, assist, it's known as assisted yoga. And on the tummy, like a flower petal resting on a pond, like a leaf resting on a lake. Two considerations. One is mulabandha, to contract uh, the uh, perineal area, the pubococcygeus muscle. Uh, if you are not doing that, even in uh, daily life, standing in a checkout uh, line or at the airport, uh, anything like that, if you're not doing that, you're frustrating your system. And also the other is uh, called ujjaya breathing to make the sound of ah at the back of the sacred uh, sinus chambers and it's a wonderful sound it sounds identical to the ocean it sounds identical to the t to the wind so we can enjoy that as a mantra and it will make us very very sensitive um, how is this benefiting yoga teachers and uh, private yoga practitioners across the country the yoga instructors now have something more to add to their private practice to their routine we ask the receiver to please lock your knees to dorsiflex your feet and this is the traditional Pashimottana Asana, not meant for everybody. And of course, I always want to be respectful and honor any kind of limitations like that three times, just like so. It is up to the student to choreograph their own sequence. Okay, it begins with breaking bread over the wrist and certainly over the palm. Don't even use your thumbs, use your Venus mound. I just lean up and draw the person with me like so. Okay, three times back and forth like so. Invoking into our heart this very moment, the being that we give love to and gratitude to for our nutrition, for our children, for our success, for our health, and for our joy. And the next procedure in the paradise sequence is called the posterior leg stretch. And we get in a nice casual position, getting nice leverage on the foot, leaning back, imagining the energy radiating behind the Achilles tendon.